the winter is past, the rain is over and gone, the flowers appear on the earth, the time of the singing of birds has come, and the voice of the turtle is heard in our land. Happy New Year, everybody. It's Tiger Baseball 1993. Not all sportscasters have a signature call. Some do. You do. You didn't start out to have a signature call, did you? No, I just started out doing the game, and whatever the signature calls that developed for me just sort of happened. I think probably the first one I came up with was he stood there like the house by the side of the road and watched it go by when a guy took a call third strike. There's a breaking ball in for a strike, and he stood there like the house by the side of the road and watched it go by. Struck him out. That's the third strikeout for Holiday. Long gone was my so-called home run call, but... I really didn't do that until the late 80s or the mid 80s. I didn't do it in 84. And somehow I just began to say, it's going, it's a long one, it's gone, it's long gone. And then I cut it back to long gone. And then people sort of asked me to keep doing it. So I did. Right hander against the right hander. The outfield is straight up and deep on Fielder. He is the DH today. Swing, there's a drive to left. That one is long gone. Fielder weighs into that first pitch with his 29th home run of the year. Well, Ernie, another one of your signature calls is on your call for a double play. Two for the price of one. Where'd you start that from? You know, I don't know when that started or where it came from. Maybe it was inspired by Lulu's shopping philosophy. <laughs> Set the pitch, he swings, bounding ball, stopped by Truby for the second one, really the first two for the price of one for the Tigers. A great play by Truby to end the third inning. The foul ball, caught by a man from Saginaw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's another one of those accidents. Uh, I never did that in any other place. I didn't do it in Brooklyn or New York or Baltimore, but when I got to Detroit, I guess about the first year or so, maybe in 60 or 61, uh, somebody hit a foul ball, and I said to my partner, that guy that caught that ball is from Saginaw, wherever it, I said, and then it just sort of caught on. And I'd walk through the ballpark, and somebody would say, hey, uh, let a guy from Gross Point catch one today. Or uh, somebody say, hey, a lady from Windsor never has caught one. Why don't you let a lady from Windsor catch a foul ball tonight? So that's what we did. And then when we went on the road, we would know, you know, some outlying cities like New Rochelle in New York or Tenafly, New Jersey. A guy from Tenafly would catch it. Or if you were in Chicago, a fellow from Evanston might have caught that one, that kind of thing. It was a lot of fun. We enjoyed that. Infield in double play depth for the Mariners. They've had a lot of ground balls so far today. Here's the pitch on the way. He swings and fouls it off. It'll reach the seats over back of the uh, Tiger dugout, and the man from Walla Walla will take that one home. Did you ever let a lady from Kentucky catch one? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, Lulu had to stay home and take care of the kids. <laughs> Hello, Ernie. I'll be so glad to have you home soon to help me in the garden with getting rid of the old vegetable garden and making a new one and planting some new roses. It makes me think of how many times I've had to be alone. And I want to thank the fans for giving you back to spend the time with me. Hurry up and get home, Ernie. The Tigers have just finished their 2002 season. And I've just finished my baseball broadcasting career. And it's time to say goodbye, but I think uh, goodbyes are sad and I'd much rather say hello. Hello to a new adventure. I'm not leaving, folks. I'll still be with you, living my life in Michigan, my home state, surrounded by family and friends. And rather than goodbye, please allow me to say thank you. Thank you for letting me be part of your family. Thank you for taking me with you to that cottage up north, to the beach, the picnic, your workplace, and your backyard. Thank you for sneaking your transistor under the pillow as you grew up loving the Tigers. Now, I might have been a small part of your life, but you've been a very large part of mine, and it's my privilege and honor to share with you the greatest game of all. Now, God has a new adventure for me, 
and I'm ready to move on. So I leave you with a deep sense of appreciation for your long-time loyalty and support. I thank you very much, and God bless all of you.